Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. All right, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Madden Money Shot. Sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. I got a defensive play for you today out of the uh, Eagles playbook. Um, it's in a lot of playbooks, though. It's the 4 4. I'm pretty sure it's also in the Ravens playbook. Um, if you guys know any other playbooks that's in, please comment in the comment section below and let me know. I think the Browns might have it. I know the Browns had it last year, but I haven't used the Browns defensive playbook this year, so I'm not 100%. But either way, I got a defensive play for you out of this formation. This is a really good formation when it comes to things like stopping the run, whether it's inside runs or outside runs. But outside runs specifically um, is where it does most of its damage or has its most use. Uh, as you can see, the front line is really one of the, uh, the longer front lines. It really spreads uh, really wide, so... It doesn't matter what play you run uh, out of this playbook. That there is going to be uh, one of the more effective, um, you know, things that sets up. You can always use this whether you're running a cover three, a cover two, a man coverage. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but the front setup uh, will be really good at stopping the run. But I'm going to show you what one is one of my more favorite plays, and I might actually show um, one, you know, two depending on how long this video goes. Uh, but my favorite play for sure is the cover two invert. Now, one of the things about this play is it looks like a cover three setup uh, because you'll have a single high safety. So it'll be a little bit confusing for your opponents if you mix it in, uh, you know, adequately from time to time. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick this play. The first thing I'm gonna do though, since I'm using the Eagles, is I'm gonna hit the uh, the R1 button so I can substitute. Uh, the safety here. Now this guy here, you want this guy to really be the best player that you have on the field. Um, you have a, um, you know, there's only one safety. This is a, this is a four linebacker set with uh, one safety and two corners. So you should have, if you're if this is your strong safety or your free safety, you should have your other one available. In this scenario, I really think the best way to go, um, typically I want either my fastest guy, if I don't really have a great safety, I can go with my fastest guy. Uh, in this scenario, I would think my fastest guy might be uh, like a Patrick Robinson. I really don't have a lot of great players to choose from on the Eagles secondary. But I think I'm gonna flip it and go with, uh, with Malcolm Jenkins. I think he has the higher man coverage, uh, which is gonna be important too. So try to put your best guy here, whether it's a cornerback or safety or whatever you have if, if you if you if you're trying to stop the run maybe it's a safety if you're trying to stop the pass maybe it's a corner that might be the best way to put it so the set's real simple uh you can spread your linebackers and you can see how wide they get and how to do that is just r1 and then up on the left stick to spread the linebackers you can also spread the um the defensive line which is l1 and then up on the left stick uh that's really going to be up to you i mean you 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 know at least i don't want to say at least you're vulnerable up the middle but you have a gap here uh, but it's really up to you if you want to spread the linebackers and pinch the defensive line. If you don't know where the run's going to go, this is a really good look, too. It's going to make it hard to run up the middle and outside. Uh, pressing here is not the best idea because your um, your cornerbacks are going to have a hard time covering deep that way. So if anything, I would say base aligning uh, is probably the better way to go. Uh, but I like, you know, it depends on this defense is, is, is really uh, flexible. I think just having these linebackers out, I just wish they were down a little bit further down. Um, than they are, but having these linebackers out is probably the best way to run because like I said, first of all, they have to cover those zones outside. They have to get uh, wide a little bit, which unless you have athletic linebackers might be hard to do, uh, but either way, that's uh, that's where I want them. I, I want it to look somewhat like this, and this is going to be the best way to stop inside and outside runs. Now, as far as my mid-read guy here, um, it's up to you if you can leave him like that. Uh, if, say, Ingram, you know, runs something, like say this is like a cover 4-4 four, four verticals or something, and he fo he'll follow a guy up the middle all the way, and he'll complete, uh, he'll, he'll fill this hole to an extent. He'll complete what looks like a cover 3 uh, if somebody is in his area going deep. Now, what he won't do is if somebody like, say, the outside receiver there, Marshall or Beckham, is running like a, a, an inside double post or something like that, he won't be aware of that because it's going to be run over his head and past him. So he won't cover if somebody's coming in from here deep. So you really have to pay attention to that. Uh, but like I said, you can leave him like this. I like to put him on a man either on the, uh, the, the R1 route in the slot or a lot of times I'll put him on a man uh, to the running back if I think it's going to be a run and then I bring him down the box here. If it's a run, he'll play that run so much better as a man. If the running back stays in, he'll have to actually go after the quarterback most of the time, which is pretty cool. Um, if it's a if it's a pass, 
uh, you'll get an extra blitzer. Uh, but that's really, you know, when, whatever you decide to do with him, you really have to be aware of that. And you have to be aware of any deep routes and cover deep middle, whether, um, you know, you just have to keep an eye on the outside receivers to make sure they're not doing that. But I'm typically going to cover this guy here over the tight end. I'll cover the tight end or I'll cover the slot, whoever comes in my area. But I really have to be aware of Marshall or Beckham uh, doing something uh, over my head. So that's, that's really how the defense is set up and that's how it's going to run. I'll go ahead and let the computer run it now. And my best see here, we got to cover this guy deep middle. Now they have, looks like a uh, incomplete pass. <laughs> looks like they had all the, everybody back. Looks like they had a lot of help, um, like a max protect there. I'm not necessarily expecting too much. I accidentally, uh, I'm not expecting too much, by the way, of pressure. This is just a four-man pressure. It gets pretty good pressure, though, if you have good defensive linemen. Uh, but the computer, a lot of times, will do some max protect stuff in these, in these practice modes. So here, uh, we get the heat from Vinnie Curry. Like I said, it's no blitz. You just kind of have to, um, you know, it really depends on what, you, uh, what your defensive linemen are doing. Which a lot of times is all you need in this game. It's just good defensive linemen. They'll get the pressure for you. And you see there, there's not a lot of way, room to run. Uh, but like I said, this is one of my more favorite defenses. I, I think I put a video out about this defense last year, but it's really good against stopping the run. And I think we're going to have a run here just based off of that motion. Oh, and I bit on it. Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Say, you're getting sacked a lot. That's one of the things about that safety. Um, is he's just going to fill the run nice. It's just, uh, I don't know what it is about this type of defense, but it really turns that safety into a Superman as we get another nice stuff. So we're going to man the running back. Anytime I tee like a two tight end set, I'm going to expect run, and I'm going to man the running back. That's my thought process there. Is, it's actually a play action. I don't know why I'm getting so much heat. So here, once again, two tight end set. Gonna man the running back, bring safety down. That's my that's my key to read anyway. Uh, we're gonna get a we're gonna, oh no oh no we got a yard oh no <laughs> yeah for whatever reason you can cross man uh, receivers in this defense with linebackers I don't think you can do that in most um, so that's something to keep in mind as well uh, you can always use that adjustment and then use this middle linebacker which is actually a safety it's not the worst idea so if somebody's beating you with a lot of drags is there we get the sack again. So this next play here is not a blitz you're going to want to run every time, uh, but since you're bringing the safety down a lot of times, and um, this is just a really effective, uh, it's an all-out blitz. I mean, it's not something that uh, you know, you're know um, you getting pressure off of three or four guys. You're sending pretty much everybody here, but I'll go ahead and I'll pick the FS blitz. Yeah, this play, you can run it just like this. I, I like to pinch it sometimes. I find that helps the free safety get in even better. Um, you have coverage everywhere, so if it's an outside uh, or if it's a, uh, a pass, you do have coverage. You just have to make sure you're safe tackling if, if the quarterback gets the ball off. But if they're under center, this will definitely get good heat. So we'll go ahead and run it like this. As you can see, Eli, not much of a drop. Good coverage outside because of the screen. It only gets about two yards. So I'm spreading now, uh, spreading my line, and um, you know, hoping to get some nice one-on-ones. They keep trying to run the ball, though. Trying to get some passes here. And he's definitely getting chased. All right, so that's uh, that play action is going to be a fail. Um, you could also, I like to um, put this linebacker, I like to stand him up. Just bluff blitz him and use him. Uh, because I, I don't think that you need this fifth or this sixth guy. A lot of times I just like to stand up with him. As you can see, I got two guys in there. I always want somebody in the yellow to use her. I mean, the man coverages do their thing, and I just got to kind of play safety up tight. So that's that's the way to go. Um, here he's getting a one-on-one -on -one with Darby, and that's not going to happen, bruh. So my favorite way to do it would probably be uh, bluff blitzing this guy and using him. That way I'm not responsible for anybody. I, I want to be a, I want to roam free. That's typically the way you want to go. Somebody broke in there and then just didn't go after the quarterback. Make sure you're guessing pass too. Uh, because a lot of times they'll go after the running back on a play action when they shouldn't. That's R, that's L2 and up on the right stick. Just so you guys know. Uh, there we're getting that heat. Oh my goodness, the blocking is still... Oh damn, you like... I feel sorry for that computer animated Eli, man. That was nasty. They were chasing him all over the place. So here's another another run. You said they're just breaking. They're just getting all over the place. So I'll go ahead and run. So I'm trying to get a few more um, run plays here. 
and there's just you know there's just no they're just getting off crazy you notice I really don't press too much in this either that's not really uh, the way to go um, I don't want to get beat deep this is just a regular you know I'm not pressing here that's not a good idea I didn't mention that man they're just flying in there and then we get one on one to Darby Darby doing his thing man just going after that ball knocking it out you don't have to do nothing crazy there with Darby just you know play the ball safe uh, whenever you're doing an all-out man blitz like this and we got my man over the middle here see that's why I, I gotta be there to double cover that's, it. that's the play if you guys want to see more defensive plays uh, let me know by hitting the like button and that's it thanks for watching man Moish it out